Hello there, and welcome to Prison Architect, episode 55. And I have spent literally Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and today is Tuesday around midnight to finally get the staff canteen to work. Yeah, it's taken that long. I just Every time I reload the save, and I just run it without recording, just run it to see what happens. And these trays get, come, get, eat, they get picked up, they put food on, they eat them, they leave them here, and the kitchen just never touches them. I even went to the point where I sold all the shares, hired 100 cooks, 100 um, guards, and 100 workmen, and let it run, and they wouldn't clean. They, they, they immediately, they would immediately run to the canteen, clean all the trays, and then never go back. So once they ate again, the only solution was to fire all the cooks and hire all the cooks again. Or something else. <clears throat> I sent the, the save files to Miss Washington, who very kindly ran it on his prism, found a temporary solution, which was uh, to dezone it as a staff canteen by saying deployment, make it shared. The guard, the prison, the guards, the uh, cooks were running there, clean everything, and then you have to reallocate it back to staff again. But it doesn't stop the problem, which is that they just keep. You have to do it every like every day. You'd have to do it just to clear out all the stuff. It's just, it's not permanent. So. I've been fiddling for like three, four days now, and I've found a solution. It's a permanent solution, and I've been testing. I've tested it for like four or five in-game days, and it, it works continuously. No fiddling, no messing, no nothing. Ha! <clears throat> the solution to the staff canteen trays not being cleaned is to not have a staff canteen. Yeah. It sounds stupid because it is stupid. The solution is this. First of all, I personally believe my delivery area gets overloaded occasionally. I don't think that's the cause of this particular problem, but I am going to extend it by placing this area here as delivery. Don't think that's an issue, but it just this does get flooded when there's a massive flood of stuff. And given that we're in negative and we're building up here, there's going to be a bit of a flood of stuff. Second thing, I need cash. So I'm going to do something relatively stupid. I'm going to sell all of the assets that are in here. All that, they need cash. And I'm not going to go and sell stuff like the. Um, thank you. Um, I'm not going to go and get like a sell of my shares and stuff. I did that before. Not needed. I'm going to get rid of these as well. Just I need the extra cash right now. And that is all we need to do. There we go. That's a lot of extra cash. That's 29 grand in the bank. We were minus three or four. There we go. Now, if you remember, nothing's happening here. I'm just going to bring this up. I'm going to bring my policy up. I'm going to put it back to here because I kind of like having. My prisoner is relatively happy. Go to needs, staff needs. This isn't needed, I'm just doing this for my own bit. I hate that corn piece not working properly. There we go. Put that over there so I can keep an eye on it. Because oh, I've been playing this, this blue barb to go right to the end. Okay, here is the permanent solution. Now we have cash to do it with. Here is the solution go into rooms, find staff room, and mark the entire place as a staff room. Then go into your logistics, food distribution, tell the kitchen using the uh, left click and the shift key to do that one, that one, that one, and that one. Now, the cooks in there are told, basically, this kitchen supplies these four rooms. If you do that with a staff canteen, that line will get erased immediately. But do it with a staff room, and the line stays there permanently. Okay. Now, we're going to get a complaint about not having a, a white sofa and thing. It's not needed, but you know what? Let's get rid of that table and that table because, quite frankly, we don't want them. We're going to put some seats there. But that is, that is it. Full speed the game. <clears throat> Wait a few seconds. Here comes the workman. The workman picks up a tray, puts the tray in there. Picks up a tray, puts the tray in there. The workman put the trays in. The guards are cleaning up the trays. The guards clean up. The cook turns up. Yeah. The guards clean up the trays, the cook comes and cleans, and the workman put the, just, the, the guards have picked up the, the trays and place them on the sink. Now the cooks have turned up, and the cooks have restocked the shelf. It's just, the, we've been waiting for that for, ah! Okay, well, because it is a canteen, let's put some sofas in here. Uh, let's put, give them a couple in here. I feel like having a couple in, and one there, boom. And they also want a drinks machine because they need a place to have a drink. So let's put that there. There we go. And you know, I don't want to give you that flashing light as soon as possible. Let's prioritise that lot. Thank you. 
But yeah, look at that. Look at that right now. I can hear you over the tears in. Look at that. There are now 20 trees. <clears throat> we were down to five at one point, and then down to none. The room's clear. If you actually watch, the guard is actually cleaning up. Taking the trays to the sink where the cook cleans them. And then when, when it gets to a level, wait for it. A cook turns up, picks up the trays, and puts them on the sink. It, and then now there are 33 trays in this, in this area. That only works, it only works, if it's a staff room. If this was a staff canteen, none of that would have been done. Yeah, it is that screwed up. Hopefully Introversion will fix that because the idea of having a staff canteen is the fact that you don't need to make it a staff room, but it seems to work quite nicely. There are now places to sit and eat your meals in comfort. Um, they kept the benefit, however, by the way, is when the uh, cooks turn up to clean the plates, they class those in staff room, so they rest. <laughs> but there we go, guys. The permanent solution to the staff canteen problem is to not have a staff canteen. Have a staff room with a serving table in it. Uh. Yeah. Well, that being said, we have 24 grand in the bank. We've got our staff are going to be a little less... Yeah, that's going down. A little less murderous. There we go. And these guys are all doing... They're all, everything's working fine. The prisoners aren't as annoyed as they were before. They were getting really annoyed because the guards were killing everybody. So, you know, reasons and problems and stuff. Anyway, that problem has taken me so long to solve. And it shouldn't have been a problem. It, it, they, they screwed up the code for the staff canteen in December and have chosen not to fix it at all. Hopefully they'll release a patch to fix it, but uh, come on, Introversion. You used to be the best in the in the, in the game release world, then you released your game and gave up on it. Come on. Come on. Anyway, back up here. Let's get back to what we're doing. We were doing two things. One, we were building this area, which we have now got up and running. Excellent. Just needs ooh, tunnel warning over that way. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I doubt there's a tunnel there. I, I I doubt there's a tunnel there. I know there's a tunnel over here. So like I said, I've run this game for like three, four days playtime. And it keeps finding it. I'm not going to do anything to purposely find it. The game can find it for me. Because I don't want to cheat. It's kind of seen the future. Right. So things we want to do up here is we want to get this place into power and water. So let's go utilities. Electric cables. Uh, let's run you... Oh, on green. Yo, I've got loads of power spares. Fine. Let's run that one across to the. Oh, goes across the top. We always follow the rules. We've got setting place already. And then went there, straight down there because it's in the middle anyway. Right. That will power up the metal detectors there. This side doesn't even have metal detectors. I just realised. So let's go and buy some of them. Metal detectors. Metal detectors. Metal detectors. Three of them. Also get those done pretty quickly because. Well, the metal detectors that kind of need to be in there. There we go. Uh, staff needs... It's going up quite high right now, but... It, it, why? Uh, not trays, not food. It's probably just they need to get through the system. I wonder what happens if we put... Uh, we can't do it over here, but we can deallocate this room, but no one's using it anyway. <laughs> we were all in there at one point. And the one over here, if we put... A, if we actually put a serving table in here... Let's give that a try. It might be like, too much, you know? Two, two serving tables in the in the place. Ooh. Um, yeah, let's remove that vending machine because it, it's useless. Uh, let's just dump it. And also prioritise it. Forget them to do that and then we'll see what happens. I don't need a sink in this one. Just need them to put a, ser a serving table in it. So, serving table. Boom. And we'll see if it gets uh, put in place because we, if it gets food in it, it should be okay. Um, but i got a feeling they'll prioritise this one over the other one. It's not a major issue, but look at that now. 39 trays. It just is no. That shouldn't be a thing. Uh, and it's it's, it's... it's installed, and it's installed! Now, let's just start seeing trays, and we should start seeing things in there, but I am going to pause, and because I've added a new one in, I'm going to tell this place here that it is now to include that room in its build as well. There you go. So it's just that seeing trays and stuff like taken over there. We are hopefully going to start seeing staff meals going over there as well. But uh, we'll keep an eye on that. This place here is the most important one. It has only five meals remaining, guys. Come on, get your meals in here. We have two meals remaining. Food, people. Come on. 
tower. And there we go, food for 27 meals. You see, it is working. It's just working really badly. Uh, up here we have this place. It's got a guard in there. And that guard there's not going for food. I might need to just, just get rid of this staff room entirely. Trades are arriving. Interesting. No food as yet, though. Let's keep an eye on it. If food doesn't arrive there, we'll say by morning, by, uh, by 6 a.m. If there's no food there by 6 a.m., then we will decommission that staff room entirely and make this the only staff room around with food in it. Okay, that's been done. But up here, we have this place. Perfect. Okay, now we just need to get water in here. You tell that, please. Uh, we need a mixture of both, actually. So, give me my tea junction. Tea junction, tea junction, junction of the tea. You go that way because of that. Water pipes are on the bottom. And that. And where's the cold water pipe? It's there. It might not be able to make it. We'll find out. We might have to put a, a larger pipe in there. And we also have the hot water pipe going to that radiator. So, that can come down here. Like that. Also, I need a small pipe going to that sprinkler there. Go! Get some toilet flushing. Get those toilets flushed. Get those toilets flushing all day long. Alright, so we have food. No problem there. How about over here? Did you bring food over here? Did you put food over here? No, there's no food over here. And see, you need, you need food, right? So I'm going to have to dismantle... I said, I said they give it till 6. I give it till 6. I don't think it'll make a difference though. Your occupation goes down. You should be heading to the other place. Getting food. So you will go to... Okay, I don't have to worry about that. That's fine. You will go and get your food. You have 53 minutes remaining. So you will go and get your food. Which is why this one is central. It's actually pretty good for food. Hopefully though, they will put food between them. Because it will make life easier. But otherwise, you need a central food canteen for staff. And then normal resting canteens there and around. Okay. So far, it's looking a little bit... Uh, Confusing, but we're getting a hang of it. We've finally solved the problem. We've finally solved here. This, this is not being any food up there. Five o'clock. Dun, dun, dun. I want to get this canteen upgrade as well. Now we've got some flow going. Did I not put the cross pieces in? I didn't put the cross pieces in. Ah, me being forgetful, eh? There to there to there to there. Full speed. Go, 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 go. Hang on. Go! <laughs> just high priority to the area. We really should put some uh, proper flooring in here as well. Make sure it's uh, that bit nicer of a place to pathfind. You know we should do that. We've got 15,000 in the bank. Let's do that. Let's go for materials. Give me stone. I'm going to run it right across the top of here so it doesn't get in the way of the, uh, the yard we have here. So run it to there. Run it up to there. And then run that across to that door there. These guys will run this way and this way. And for now I'm just going to run it down the middle like that. And we'll deal with the appropriate mess in a moment. Whoop! Is that a tunnel I see? No, but it is tunnel warning. We will be doing a shakedown in the morning because they don't detect that tunnel. Just because it's a standard thing to do anyway. Bam bam bam, da 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 da. Meals! Look at how close that is. Yeah, and it's past six o'clock and they haven't done that. So let's remove that serving table and just pretend it never happened. The easy way for a pee now in the, in the uh, salt area because the toilets are uh, off limits uh, to prisoners, so it's fine. Uh, hopefully, you will get to your uh, getting so go get food. See, so you're gonna sit down, but it's the food that's pissing you off. That's what I don't like about this bit as well. It's like I am pissed off with food, but I'm a little bit uncomfortable, so I'm gonna go sit down. It's like, how about you go for food? That's that's an option as well. Dun, dun, dun. Oop. Right, so this here, there's no food in the kitchen right now. Um, I think that is actually a... Yeah, there's loads of food here. I think that's actually a... I think that is actually a... Um, a cook limitation problem. I think we do not have enough cooks to do that. So I'm going to bring it up to... 35 cooks. I don't think we need them to make the prison run fully, but we need them to get the food into the freezers when it's uh, mass stock. We have that many prisoners, so we're just emptying the room pretty quickly. Again, it wasn't the problem here. As you can see, that's been entirely solved by uh, just changing the designation. But yeah. I do love the fact that the guards were cleaned up as well when they were in here. 
So when it, get, when it gets to the mass enough to do it, it's the guards that do the cleaning. It's just like, me, clean. I, I will clean, don't worry about me. I am, uh, I'm able to move a tray once in a while. It's just that, yeah, I wish it like that a week ago. But there we go. Oh, we're at death. Where? Oh, someone lost their parole. Ooh. So sorry. Parole lawyer. Death. And the food comes in. <laughs> Just mass wave of food. <laughs> oh, how many trays are left in here? 13 trays. 13, 9, 20. We're doing good. And they are stacking these trays up. And look, put in sync. And you go, oh, you almost get into sync. You just got a little distracted, didn't you? Somebody else to pick it up. Come yeah, on, you know you want to. You know you want to. No, okay. Well, you'll do it when you're ready. You'll do it when you're ready. But up here, we missed one. Did we miss one? No, it's just outside range. Okay, I need to extend the uh, big pipe by, by one square. Okay. Big pipe extension by one square. Boom. Let's do it to... Make it to the junction because then go up it needs to as well. There we go, we have everything up and running. Staff, look at that. Only a handful of staff are pissed off right now. One. Eight staff are furious that they cannot meet this need. I'm sure they'll solve it out. Is there any of you? God, if there's any of you, I would be annoyed at you. No. I won't find out who it is. Uh, is it any of you? Nope. Which is a good way of finding out which ones are pissed off. My guess is they're the ones that are not currently actually out on a break. But if you're over here, I'll be even more annoyed at you. I'm annoyed at you. I am glad you have 91 minutes to go and get food. Oh my god, you have 80 minutes to go and get food. Go! Get food! Okay, I, I, thank you. Why are you not going to get food? I know you're on a break, but it's not an excuse to not go get food. Go and get your food. 53 minutes. You're fat, you, you're annoyed, you're playing pool. Mm. I'm going to leave you alone, but I wish you would go to the actual break room. Here, for food. There is, there is food. There are, there are, there's plenty of food. Go get your food. Ah, you, getting food. You waited until nine minutes. You, you, you are a moron, you person with a shotgun. You wait until you literally didn't have time to make it to the canteen to get food. I have no sympathy for you. Go stand outside in the rain. <laughs> That's literally where I was going anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we've got 21,000. We have to be very careful now when we build. We can't just go plonk it all down and let them build it as the money comes in because then there's no money for food. So we have to be very careful. So let's go and do a massive expansion. Give me the copying tool. Clone that part of the building there. How much would that cost us to clone? Five grand. We got 20 back. We can clone that. No problem. Clone. Then clone the bottom part of that as well. To there. And then when that's cloned, that's the entire top section done. That'll cost me another five grand. Boom. And there we go. That'll be another section cloned in. We have to put piping in still. Yep. So I'm going to put piping in there. Not a problem. Piping something we can do. Um, with our new double-sided loading bank. Look at that. We've got a lot of bookshelves and stuff coming in now. That's pretty good. We have a lot of these radiators and stuff which hopefully they'll uh, install. But uh, we actually do have now a pretty decent system. We need to make a path here properly. But uh, we have a pretty decent system in place, I think. Let's look at getting these pipes in place with our final bit of cash. We may not be able to do it, but we'll find out soon. Which we go to the right side, okay. So I want the pipe to come up there, across there, and then up to the end, through the T-junction pieces, through the T-junction pieces, through the T-junction Keep an eye on the pricing, you see. Cancel. That wasn't the T-junction piece. Uh, oh, yeah, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Go, 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 go. Do, do everything. Everything. Well, I found all legal with them down. Three grand in the bag. Okay, and then we want a hot water pipe for the radiator, which will most likely be there. Uh, where are you going to put the radiator? Is on the left or right? I actually can't see the radiator in the build. I bet the radiator is not actually in the build because it doesn't need them everywhere. Uh, is there a radiator in your cell block? It is on the right hand side. Okay, thank you. I want to put the pipe on the wrong side anyway, so that is perfectly fine. 
put the radiator, would go this side. And run it down with the pipe. There we go. Power cables would go where? How far? Just to the door basically seems to be good enough. Okay, well in that case you can run down that side. And then into the middle and then across to there. And then we'll have all the things of that section done. Then we just got one more to do there. And our first expansion block is complete. Excellent. Our, uh, I'm not going to prioritise the build because our guys are busy doing a lot of other sort of moving metal around. Which does indeed make us a lot of money. So there we go. One thing I am going to do though, because I found this guy to be annoying, is I'm going to get my arm guard patrol and shrink it down from there to there. Just have a couple of squares and nothing else. You can, you can, you can deal with that. You can walk back and forth there. I think you do. Where are you going? I don't know where you're going, but you're patrolling somewhere. Um, are you going to be here? Where? How many arm guards do we have? Like one? We should have two, right? We should have two. I bet one's on. You know what? There we go. We don't need uh, three, but uh, it will keep two ideally on patrol and one in. Uh, and one in somewhere else. There we go. Just put it in sort of there near the door, so if they're trying to escape, it's shotgun. Because during a test run, someone tried to escape. He was up here. So, fair enough. Canteen is doing good. Trade is at 28. Yeah, we're good there. Food is also doing quite well. We're doing nicely. Everything is behaving itself. New uh, delivery of new food for the staff. Excellent. And the new facility is being built at the slowest rate possible. Okay. Well, in that case, <clears throat> this is going to be uh, it's a bad idea. Priority. <clears throat> it's a bad idea because it means that these guys are going to do it in expense of everything else, including staff meals. Yep. Because I, I don't know if the, if the cooks will bring the staff meals. I don't know. I honestly haven't got a clue. But we'll find out in the next episode. Because this has been a pretty decent one. We've got the staff canteen working. We've got the new build completed. We've got a pissed off guard who decides to do everything but the thing he's supposed to do. we got a lot of stuff. we got a lot of stuff done. I'm very happy right now. So all I can really say is... Comments in the comments. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Also, do let me know if you've ever had the problem with your staff canteens. And you solved it in your own different way. Because it's interesting to know how different people solve it in different ways. <laughs>